welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really simple and cute Mother's Day gift idea. It is hanging beside me right here as you can see. So this is a really simple DIY, perfect for gifting to your mum or a mother figure in your life and I just think it's so sweet. Um, obviously you can put mum, you can change the slogan to whatever you want but the idea is you get them a little wall hanging that they can treasure and they can just pop up and uh, remind you of you so I thought it was a really sweet idea. It's all hand cut vinyls, I'm using Happy Fabric vinyls, all hand cut so you don't need a machine or anything like that, that's why it's so so easy. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how to make your very own wall hanging and if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications of my future uploads and why not give this video a thumbs up while you're at it as well so yeah I hope you enjoy it and what you will need is a embroidery hoop like this one some fabric this is a piece of cut off fabric that I had for a few, uh, another project so you can buy fabric in obviously fabric stores online but you really need just like something scrap that you've got laying around maybe an old t-shirt or something um but this piece is obviously quite big but I you literally need like enough to fill this hoop so scrap fabric or you can go get something special I've got this really cute floral one which I thought would be nice for this project then I have got the essentials some scissors <laughs> a pen and a tape measure and then the exciting part I've also got some happy fabric if you've not heard of them before they are a heat transfer vinyl company um, based in the UK but they've also got in Europe and the US as well so go check them out and we have some, sorry if it's reflective but we've got these really cute vinyls here and this DIY is going to be so simple because we're not using a Cricut or a silhouette cutter or anything like that it's all going to be hand cut um, vinyls so just showing you guys that you can use heat press vinyls if you are hand cutting and I'm going to be using the happy glitter in green and the happy flex in this sort of watermelon red and this light green and then this happy fabric i think this is the happy fashion range but it's like this metallic silver and then this really cool glittery snazzy pink first thing we're gonna do is cut out the fabric to match up with this hoop so if you place the hoop on the fabric like that just get your scissors and we need to cut a square so once you've cut your fabric just take those apart the inside hoop what you want to do is lay your fabric on top like that so it's got quite a nice stretch to it as well which is actually very handy when working with embroidery hoops so then pop your one on top Make sure you're happy with the print placement as well because this is your top of your thing because you're going to hang your ribbon on there for hanging it. So make sure that's at the top. What I'm doing is I'm just pulling the fabric tight in the embroidery hoop. You want it to have some resistance so you don't want it to become sort of saggy in the middle. So just make sure you pull your fabric tight and then occasionally just tie this, tighten this at the top. So once that's done, just trim off any excess fabric that you've got around the edge. Okay, so then you have your flowers like this, really, really simple. So next up, we're going to cut out our letters. So what we want to do is cut out the letters mum. And we are going to use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a tape measure, but you it will be handy for you to have a straight edge to work with. So firstly, let's measure the embroidery hoop. So it is 8 inches wide, or that's how many centimetres. 20 centimetres, so we're going to do the text about uh, one, two, three, four, about four inches. So we need to make sure the letters fit in about four inches. So on your vinyl, make sure you've got the shiny side down and we're drawing on the rough side 
we'll do a little mark at four inches so we know that our letters need to be that wide so that's fine so you've got your marker and then in terms of making the letters just put a little dot at the top so we know we'll do it two inches height great so then let's draw the letters so let's do it half an inch wide for the M draw this in roughly like this So once you've got one M, what you can do is just actually duplicate that. You can use that as a stencil to do the other M. So we're going to do M-U-M, -M, which is the very British way of saying mum, or South, Southern British. Um, everyone spells it differently, so I'm going to do M-U-M, -M, but obviously feel free to spell it how you spell it. So then let's do my U. So you've got your M and your U, so we can cut those out and use them as stencils and then I will cut the green and the silver and I'll show you what to do next. So the next step is you want to iron on your letters. So I'm just placing them where I want them. So this is looking really cute and then what we're going to do is we will then iron on the, that and then we'll do the green on top afterwards. So I, you can use an iron, um, I've got this heat proof mat but I'm actually going to use my Cricut heat press, easy press, just because it takes less time um, but obviously you can use a normal iron between tw uh, 10 and 30 seconds per layer that you do and try and peel it when it's warm and not hot watch your fingers but peel it when it's warm is the best thing and what I mean by peel is that this has a protective little coat I will show you in a second so once that layer is done we're now going to layer on the green one it looks so cool. So in terms of placement, I'm just going to do it sort of off to the side so you kind of get that reflective M look. So there we go. That's the finished mum with the green on. I'm now going to show you the next step. So next, we are going to add a couple of really cute little flowers at the bottom and the top. And to do this, We've just got the glitter flex and I've just drawn on some little leaf sort of shapes here. Um, really simply going to cut those out. Take that one, put it up there. Some big ones together in that little one. Cute, so we've got the little leaf shapes. And then what we want to do is get our red shiny side down. And we want to draw some little flower shapes on here. So I'm just going to do some really cute basic petal flowers. Very similar to the print on the fabric. So we've got one for the top and then we're going to do some little mini ones for the bottom. Once you have cut out your little flowers in the red, we're then going to cut out some sort of matching flowers in this pink to layer on top just to kind of give it a bit of dimension um, and add more detail. So as you can see that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to iron it all on by starting with the leaves first, pressing them, then the red flowers and then the pink flowers and I'll show you when it's done. So now this is done looking super cute I'm so happy with it and also I didn't realize the red actually has like a really cool texture it's actually a flock so yeah really really pleased and then just to finish it off I forgot to mention at the start of the video you will need some ribbon I happen to have some that matched the glittery leaves which is perfect so you need a little about 10 centimeters either side 
Um, so just cut a little bit excess as well. Just do it with a slight neat edging. And then what you want to do is pop a little knot at the bottom. Like this. So you've got your little knot like that. Then you want to pop your hoop through the gap and then pull that or is it the other way yeah so you pull it through open this bit and then put your loop through like that and pull and what you get is a little ribbon very pleased so that is ready to hang up and gift to your mum. You can wrap it up, you can do whatever you want with it, but yeah, it's so, so cute. So thank you so much for watching guys, I really hoped you enjoyed seeing how I created this really cute wall hanging for Mother's Day, perfect little gift idea and just really sentimental and nice, you know handmade gifts are always the best in my opinion, I think they're really cute so yeah hopefully my mum is going to love that for hanging up somewhere, maybe in her camper van or in her house or something, <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in my next video or go check out my other ones in my crafts playlist, lots and lots of things that you can get on and make and things like that, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time, bye!